Because we can never make a measurement to an infinite number of decimal places, there's always going to be some uncertainty in a measurement. So in investigative work, we need to record this uncertainty for all measurements that we make. And there are two common scientific conventions that we follow depending on the type of equipment that we're using. The first type of equipment is analog equipment. And this is equipment that has linear graduations or lines on a scale which we use to make the measurement. Examples might include a, a graduated cylinder, a burette, a ruler, or an analog voltmeter. The second type of equipment we might use to make measurements is digital equipment. And on this type of equipment, we'll be given a number on a digital screen. Examples might include a stopwatch, a balance, or a digital voltmeter. Let's look at the conventions we use in each case. We'll start with analog equipment. To find the uncertainty in analog measurement equipment, we take plus or minus half of the smallest division. So let's see what this looks like in an example with a graduated cylinder where I'm measuring the volume of a liquid. So when measuring the volume in this example, we're allowed to estimate to half of the smallest gaps that we see on our linear scale. So measuring the volume of this liquid by looking at the bottom of the meniscus, by the way, that's supposed to be a picture of an eye, I can probably estimate that this volume is about 5.5 centimeters cubed. So to work out the uncertainty for this value, I follow the convention of putting a plus or minus half of the smallest division or gap between lines on my scale. So in this case, the smallest gap between lines is one centimeter cubed and half of one would be 0 0.5. So I'm gonna add that to the end of my measurement, something like this. And this uncertainty tells me that my measurement is accurate within plus or minus 0 0.5 of the measurement that I've actually recorded. And you'll notice importantly that the decimal places in my reading matches the uncertainty. In this case, one decimal place. Let's now look at digital equipment. For digital equipment, we have a slightly different convention to follow as we give uncertainty to plus or minus the smallest division or smallest measurement I can make because we can't make any estimations beyond the number of decimal places that we're given. Let's take an example of a digital balance. So because we can't estimate beyond that final decimal place, my measurement is simply going to be the number that's shown on the scale. And following the convention given above, we're going to put plus or minus the smallest division or the smallest measurement I can make, which would be 0 0.01 grams. Again, once I've done that, I need to make sure that the decimal places in my reading must match the decimal places in my uncertainty. In this case, it's two. Now, there is one exception to this convention, and that's using a stopwatch. So applying my normal convention for digital equipment, I would write down my measurement, which is 12.04, and I would follow it by writing the uncertainty of plus or minus the smallest measurement I can make, or the smallest division, which is 0.01. However, when using a stopwatch, we haven't really taken into account human reaction time that is definitely not accurate to 0.01 seconds. So I'm able to adapt my measurement and make an assumption that perhaps human reaction time is accurate to about plus or minus one second. And notice by changing that uncertainty to plus or minus one second, and therefore having no decimal places in the uncertainty, I need to make sure that the recorded measurement also has no decimal places in this example. And this is now a much more appropriate measurement given the limitations in human reaction time. Always make sure to state this assumption and change if you're including this in a lab report. Let's now consider the key points from this video. Firstly, let's look at analog equipment. And when making our measurement, remember that you're allowed to estimate to half of the smallest gap 
when recording your value. The uncertainty associated with this is always going to be plus or minus half of the smallest division on that piece of equipment. For digital equipment, we can directly record the value shown on the screen and then give an uncertainty of plus or minus the smallest division or smallest measurement that we're able to make on that equipment. And remember that stopwatches are an exception where we're allowed to make some assumptions. And as a final point, remember that for any measurements we make, we need to ensure that the value we write down has the same number of decimal places as the uncertainty provided. It's also worth noting that sometimes pieces of analog equipment have a calculated uncertainty value already given, in which case you can simply use that uncertainty or follow the conventions we've just talked about. Either way is acceptable. Hopefully this video is of some help.